Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, we will unpack the new search capabilities of Photo Raw 2024. I'll give you an overview of how the search bar is laid out and then drill down into each one of the sections to give you an idea of how you combine all of these different things to do some pretty powerful searches for your photos. A uh, quick note, if you are thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2024 or adding any of the on one tools to your toolkit, check the show notes. I have an offer code there that will save you 20% gives me a little support so I can do more videos like this. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, the new searching uh, search bar here in Photo Raw 2024. The search bar in on one Photo Raw 2024 it lives across the top of the browse module. So when you're in browse searching access is right across the top and it's laid out pretty logically. From left to right we have search. This is where do you want to look? What folders of images do you want to look in? The middle, where you have text, attribute, faces, metadata, and we'll dig into these. This is what do you want to find? I want to look here. What do you want to find? And on the far right, particularly the sort thing, how do you want to see the results? You know, how do you want to sort them? And there's some other options here. If you're searching for catalog folders, you can create a smart album or you can use the smart organize option, which has existed in Photo Raw 2023 and before. And I've got separate videos about smart organize and how that works. But that's really how the search bar is laid out. You know, just think of it from left to right. Where do you want to look? What do you want to find? And then how do you want to see it? So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the, the first part. You know, where do you want to look? What are the options we have here? So first, the search area. Where do you want to look? You know, if you have your, your currently selected folder, you know, it defaults to current photos. What am I currently looking at? You can change that to uh, always lock on a particular folder if you want to. You can search all the known photos. So anything that Photo Raw knows about, which would include some things that might be cached, and then your cataloged stuff. So you can search all your cataloged folders, catalog and what's in the cloud, only the cloud. And if you have cataloged folders, multi you know, multiple ones, you can search each individual cataloged folder. So I'm going to be working with cataloged folders uh, for this, uh, you know, this uh, this video here. But know that you can apply these search rules. Everything I'm going to you know show you here to any folder of images that you have, whether they're cataloged or not. So uh, you know the the search gets more powerful when you're doing things with cataloged folders because you're searching across you know all the folders. Um, one other thing I do want to point out though is is this lock search across folders. So if I have current photos selected, notice that becomes accessible. I can turn that on, a little check next to it. That means as I set criteria to search against and I move around folders, I'm looking in the first folder for, I don't know, three star images, and then I jump to another folder. If I have lock set, I will maintain whatever search criteria I've set as I move around folders. So that can be a handy option depending on what it is you're doing as you're looking for your images. Uh, let's move on to looking at the individual attributes that you can search for. All right, so let's uh, let's turn off lock and I will search my cataloged folders. Now what can I search for? Uh, first is text and this is really a very free form. You can search for everything which is any text based field or just the description or just the file name or the keywords of the title and for things that either do or don't have whatever you supply. And let's say you know, if I put in San Diego and here's a set of, of you know, sorted photos that have San Diego somewhere in there, in the file name, in the metadata, something like that. So this is good if you are trying to do a quick search, wanting to find, you know, I, I know this is something to do with a location or a person. Somewhere in the metadata or the file name of that photo, you've got this word or this string of characters, you can find it. Let's clear that. We'll go back to none. Next is attribute. Now attribute is the various metadata that you add to your photos. Whether you've liked a photo, it does not have a like or a dislike, it's been rejected. You can see I've got a sort here of three stars greater than. That's typically what you're doing. You're funneling down to find your better photos. You can go further and filter that with color labels. And so it's a combination now, three stars plus 
I've, I've put a purple label on it and you can see that the results are whittling down immediately. If you have certain edits, like have I cropped the photos? Okay, now I'm getting even smaller. These types of searches are, are interesting. Um, I, I will admit I probably don't use those as often. I'm usually looking for a particular subject or uh, date range, and we'll, we'll get into date ranges here in just a minute. That's another one of the things we can search for, you know, those kind of things. But if you do say like, you know, hey, I'm curious, you know, how, much, how often do I use, you know, no noise or something like that? You, know, you have those options in here. You can, you can turn those things on there. I'll go back to any. And as well as you have the type, you can either search for a photo, a version, or video if you're using on one to catalog your video. Uh, photo and version, that to me is also interesting because, you know, here's version and this is even further down. So I can whittle out which versions versus my original, you know, uh, raws that I've edited. And for certain workflows, uh, I find that to be very helpful. I'll often create a version for a different kind of crop or maybe a black and white treatment of uh, a color photo. And I know that that's my workflow and I use versions to do that. I can tap into that with this ability to search for versions. So that's the attributes. All right, so let's close out attribute and let's take a look at faces. Now faces, I get a few options. I can search for photos that have one person, two people, or a group photo. I can search based on age and this is tapping into AI, the, uh, the on one figuring out is it, a, is it a baby, is it a teenager, you know, those sort of things based on the features of the face. And then you know, gender, is it male or female? So uh, let's try a couple of these here. If I do one face, uh, I have some here. And it's mostly right. Um, this one here has two faces. If I switch to two, do I get that one? I don't. So that one's that the AI is getting fooled there. There's, there's a lot going on in that photo. But nevertheless, it didn't catch that there are, are two faces there. Uh, what about uh, age here? So age is another one where the, um, the AI does okay. Uh, teenager or adult? Um, pretty close. I mean, this one, yes. This one, probably. But these other ones? Um, young adult, sure. I'm not sure about the others there. I mean, this is kind of where my definition of a young adult might be different than what the AI is thinking. So when you're working with the faces and the AI parts of it, uh, you, you will need to pay a little more attention to the results. I've seen it be pretty good, but it's certainly not infallible. Uh, you know, gender has been pretty okay. You know, uh, let's just do female here and that should filter out the one guy there. And you can see there's 29 photos that haven't been scanned yet for faces. So I still have some background AI going on, still looking at other photos that I have in this uh, this catalog I've just thrown <laughs> at Photo Raw, just trying to figure out. Uh, but that's what we have available for faces. And then finally, we have metadata. Now, metadata, this is all sorts of metadata. We saw like the the text was basically what you see here. Everything contains some piece of text. Well. With the metadata search, you can take that and stack up lots and lots and lots of rules. And I tend to work with, we have all, any, or none. Uh, this is where you might define three different rules and if any one of them matches, show me the photo. And that can be useful for certain things. Maybe you're doing uh, a project and I don't know, you're, you're searching for boats and bridges. Well, great. I'll make one thing that says, you know, show me boats, and I'll make a second rule that says, show me bridges. If you match either one of those, great. The photo shows up. So there's uses for it. If you're trying to filter things out, that's where none comes in. I don't want to see whatever rules you set. Um, I tend to work with with all of the rules where I, I use it as a funnel. I whittle down. And so I might start with, you know, I'm looking for things that I captured with, like, um, well, let's not do my camera model, but uh, maybe things that I captured. Here's a date range. This would be a good one. I captured it within the range of, say, let's go back in time here. 
to say the beginning of 2023 until basically, you know, the end of this year, which I haven't reached yet, but That'll be okay. And here are some photos. Okay, I found some photos like that. And then if I wanted to go further, I could add a second rule with the plus. All right, and maybe I want to search by something in the IPTC or the location being, you know, uh, a state or a province. I don't think I have these things geotagged but for example I recognize this is Bryce Canyon so if I typed in Utah will I get hits I do actually so it did bring those in and it filtered out the other ones because I've got that data being pulled in by uh, I guess I did have these tagged with GPS excellent and so on down the line so you can add as many rules as you want to build up a sequence and I'll turn that one off but you can see be started off with you know a whole bunch of photos here, put that metadata on, limiting the range, and then limiting a location, I was able to find what I was looking for pretty darn quickly. And you can stack up the attributes to make more powerful searches. Uh, let's continue on this particular example. Let's add a little bit of attributes here. Let's add uh, a few more things just for, for illustrative purposes. And then, you know, this one has a purple, and, you know, this one has purple. Because if you recall, when I was in the attribute area, I'll turn this back on. This is where I'm wearing with stars and with, uh, with color labels. Well, now I've added in this additional rule, greater than three stars, purple, any edits, and a version. I only have one photo that's matching that. Well, what about if I move that back to all? Okay, there's that second one, which is a raw. This one happens to be a version. And I'm combining that with this attribute option here. So all of these things, all the attributes need to be met. And in my case, all of these metadata pieces need to be met. And I get this you know, very complex search, but built in a pretty easy and logical way. You know, Just keep that, 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 that mantra in mind of where do I want to look? What do I want to find? And think of that, what do I want to find as a series of funnels? You know, I have to pass through each level as you're whittling down to get to the photos you really want to see. And then finally, you know, well, how do you want to, how do you want to see them? And in this case, it's sorted by file name and ascending. I actually tend to prefer, you know, date captured. That's, that's usually my, my preferred method. Um, there's not much of a change here. Let's, um, let's broaden our search a little bit. Let's turn off the, the metadata. And so here's more results so we can see what the different searches look like. You know, what's the, what's the file name? And we'll see that shuffle around. Uh, or if I wanted to say, you know, I, I like to search by date captured and I might say descending, you know, show me my more recent photos first and my least recent photos at the bottom. I'm working with a catalog folder. This is a good time to go into the more search things here or the, the results. I'm working with catalog folders so I can take this and create a smart album out of this search. And so if this is the kind of search that I want to have uh, ongoing, right? Smart albums, and I've got a different video about smart albums. We've had those in Photo Raw for a while, where the rules keep checking as you add new photos to your catalog. And if the rules match, the photo automatically shows up in the smart photo. A, a smart album. You can create the smart album right here from search. And also finally, you can save the search uh, as what they call a style. I can save a new style and you know, what would this be one? You know, three star purple. And this is across my cataloged folders. And so I can save that and recall it later on if I need to with my particular choice. Right there up at the top, I missed it. Scrolled right by it. There's the one that I saved just now. So you can save all sorts of searches here. And that's the new and improved searching experience in Photo Raw 2024. It is much better. I really like having the bar at the top. The floating window thing is gone. It's my, my photos are visible. I don't have stuff getting in its way. And I can keep the search active on the screen while I'm navigating through other photos. It's, it's a much better uh, layout and uh, you know, remember just you know the layout left to right is where do you want to search what do you want to find and then how do you want to see it right? choose your folder 
set your attributes, and then define your sort. And uh, you'll be finding all of your photos in no time. Just think of it like funnels. You're just paring things down to find just what you're looking for. Hope you found the video useful. You got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.